In this video, we will be introducing the WhatsApp add-in for WAVE. With this add-in, users will be able to receive and respond to messages from WhatsApp contacts. To get started, you will first need a WhatsApp business account with a phone number. This phone number cannot be shared with other WhatsApp accounts. Second, the UCM server must have a public network address and a valid TLS certificate. As a quick note, multiple WhatsApp accounts can be used. This video will not go over the actual account setup process. Please refer to our Wave Desktop third-party add-in guide for instructions on how to set everything up. As mentioned earlier in the video, WhatsApp contacts will be able to send messages to the WhatsApp phone number configured on Wave, and Wave users will be able to receive and respond to these messages. Wave users cannot initiate conversations from their end. If the Wave user is using a CRM, they will be able to see the WhatsApp contacts information on the CRM interface. In an existing conversation with a WhatsApp user, Wave users can directly call them from the Wave interface. In addition to this, Wave users can also transfer the conversation to another Wave user. For example, we will forward the conversation to Jack. The conversation will no longer be available to the current user. Let's log out from this account and log back in as Jack. Jack can now see the conversation that was forwarded to him and continue to talk to the WhatsApp contact. Once the conversation is finished, the Wave user can end the chat session to delete the entire chat history with the WhatsApp contact. I hope this has been helpful in introducing the WhatsApp add-in for Wave. Thank you for listening.